Hi, I am going to show you how to create shared folders for your students in your class. Uh, this is a way for you to keep all of your students' folders inside one folder so you can access everything. They have access to their own folder, but they can't see anyone else's folder. That means that everything that they add to their folder, you can get in and look at, but no one else can. Everything that they need to turn into you can go right in that folder. So you can click on this link. Uh, where it says create shared folders. This is something that from a developer called Alice Keeler, it's from her website. Um, she has created a script that will produce these folders for you. So click shared folders and it will ask you to make a copy of a document. That's what you want is to copy this document. Click make a copy. It takes just a second for it set to set itself up. And when you open it, it doesn't look like much. Um, it has a place for your roster and a place for your student email addresses. Um, and we're gonna need to do a little magic to it before it works. So first I'm gonna paste my student roster in. This is my imaginary student roster right now. So I've got the student names and the student email addresses here in my roster. You'll have your whole student list in here. You can just get this off a of portal wherever you get that. Um, next step is I'm going to click add-ons. Um, this is a little script that the Google Sheet will run. You don't need to know anything about it, but you will probably have to go get it and add it to your Google Sheets. Um, when I click add-ons, I'll see it says folder maker here, um, and I'm going to click start and that's going to start the process. But for you, the first time you do it, you're going to need to click get add-ons and just search for folder maker. Um, it just, it's a little tool that it adds to your Google Sheets that you'll only really need for this, um, but you do need it for this process. So I've got folder maker on my add-ons and I'm going to click start. I need to authorize it. Um, it says it's not verified, that's just because it's a developer's script. So I'm going to click Advanced and click Go to Folder Maker. It says it's unsafe, but it's just because it's an, an outside maker. Click Allow. So now this pops up here. This is Alice Keeler's script that she's written, this folder maker. What I want to do is click Make Folders. Here it has some directions for you if you forget what you're doing but I've got my students in there in the roster and the email addresses. I'm gonna click Make Folders. Um, I, the name of my teacher folder, I'm gonna do Study Skills Project 340 Fall 20 and click OK. My student folder name, um, there it's gonna make a name for each student's folder that will add to their actual student name so you can tell what the folder's for as well as which student's for. So I'm gonna add um, project fall 20 to my folder names. And it's creating those folders now. So you can see here with folder names, it takes the student's name and adds project FA20 to it because that's the name that I wanted to attach to it. It gives you a folder ID and a folder URL. This takes a couple minutes if you're setting up 20 or 25 of them, but for it was pretty quick just for these four. So at the top, you can see there's a URL here. This is my folder where all these are going to be inside. I can open this up and it will open up in my Google Drive. And here inside my Google Drive, I will see those student folders here. It's got the little person inside the folder that shows that it's shared. It's just shared between that student and me. The other students can't access each other's stuff. Here are all the URLs for the student folders. You will need to share those with your students. One way to do this is to just share this whole document. They can click on each other's folder URLs because they can see them here, but they can't get into them. It's only authorized to the person with that email address. So you can make this whole Excel sheet available to your students so that they can view it. Um, don't make it editable to them, just share. So I'm gonna click here, share. And I am going to change the sharing settings. And I'm gonna say it is available to anyone with a link to view, which is what I want, done. I can give this link to my students. I can send it on WhatsApp, email, wherever I wanna post it. They can get in here and if I'm student B, I can see, yep, that's my email. My folder name is student B project fall A20. And here is my folder URL. If I'm the student, I'm gonna open up this folder. 
And now when I open it, I should add it to my Google Drive. So here I am going to click the arrow and say, add shortcut to drive. That means it's going to add to, to my own Google Drive. I can add all of my stuff there if I'm the student. So now as a teacher, you've got this one folder with all of your students' folders inside it. Everything your student puts in their folder, you have access to because it's all shared with you already. So make sure you hang on to this sheet so you can see where yours is. Or once you've got that folder open, you can go ahead and, and organize it in your drive wherever you want it. So if you click the arrow, you can move it and then move it to whatever part of your drive you want to organize it into. And that is how you're going to copy all the folders for your students. Um, this way that you have a controlled space where you know everything is shared with you already. Thanks.